Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Conversations. And I wanted to make you aware of something very cool that we're doing on a subscription basis, and we'll put a link in each one of our episodes. But every Wednesday, we're going to be doing what we call an audio podcast workshop. That workshop will be roughly about 14 to maybe 20 minutes per episode with each month having the theme from a coaching model, using feedback strategically to coaching self-awareness and so on. So if you could look in the body or in the content description of each episode, and you will see a link where you can join this subscription. These are literally four workshops every month teaching specific strategies to address a particular area of workplace coaching uh, as it relates, again, to things like awareness, motivation, teamwork, and what have you. Here's the cool thing. It's only $10 per month, and each month you will get a handout that we will follow along with, so we also give you a tool for you to take notes as we go through each episode. We hope you'll check it out. Conversations have never become more important. And I think about conversations and companies that are ready for the current conditions with the coronavirus and all the things that we're going through, some hitting others, some hitting people, not at all, some really actually benefiting. So I actually have a client who makes disinfectant products and they're swamped. They're buried with orders. I have another client who's in the recruiting business and they have been using remote workforce for years. So it's not disrupting their business at all. All of these things require us to have conversations. So when we're remote, we need to increase our communication, especially if you're not used to it. If business is good, sometimes people forget. So for example, the company where they're having all this success in a very short time span, they were actually complaining. So I was having a conversation with one of their employees and I said, so let me understand something. You're upset because actually to a certain weird perspective, you guys are benefiting from the coronavirus while some people are suffering, but yet you're complaining. And she stopped and she said, oh my gosh, I feel terrible. I said, no, I'm just trying to lend perspective. Now, had I not had that conversation, would her griping and complaining increase or decreased? probably would have increased. If there's ever been a time when we need to have conversations, it's now. Here's the fundamental reason why. When we're having conversations, we get clarity, we get interpretation, we get critical thinking, we increase our emotional intelligence, we help people become more self-aware, maybe even self-regulate a little more. Here's the funny thing that this really kind of crazy time right now has taught all of us. Not knowing breeds fear. It does not breed confidence. Not knowing gets people thinking negatively, not positively. So what do we do? We have conversations. How are you feeling? What's going through your mind? What if I were to tell you we're going to get through this just like everything else we've gotten through? How would you respond to that? We need to have conversations. Where there is uncertainty, there is opportunity to change up the dialogue and find out how are people feeling? What are they going to do to overcome this? What are they going to do to help their teammates who might be having more anxiety? Not having this conversation could really breed negativity, assumptions, and run rampant throughout your organization. Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called Coach to You, where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign 7 to 21-day programs for employees to learn and, more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.